I'm Dave Bouget. I'm the head of marketing and communications at Weta Digital. My name is Eric Reynolds, and I'm a supervising animator at Weta Digital in New Zealand. I'm David Tremont. Um, I'm a model maker at Weta Workshop. Weta is based in Wellington, New Zealand, which is the capital to the bottom part of the North Island. Um, and Windy Wellington is what they call it. The two parts of Weta are Weta Workshop and Weta Digital. Weta Workshop is the guys and gals that actually make things. They, they, they uh, mold and they sculpt and they build miniatures and things that you can actually touch and see and smell. And they do a lot of pre-design work for movies. And I work for Weta Digital, which is the computer side. So we all set up computers with mouses and keyboards and um, do uh, all the visual effects on that side. And I work in animation, which is even one part of Weta Digital. There's also a whole comp department and a whole lighting department and um, a camera department. And overall, it's roughly a thousand people in, on the digital side. I think the thing that I enjoy about the job more than anything else is the fact that there's so much sort of innovation and creativity every single day, like um, the new problems to be solved, new techniques being developed, and artists coming up with new ways of doing things. So even though I may have a grasp on you know, how we're doing the visual effects in one film, you know, six months later we will have changed something, either ripped it and replaced it with something entirely new or evolved it to a place. Um, and just being able to learn that process and then find a way to sort of distill it down so that people that are not in visual effects can understand it. It's kind of a fascinating process. With the collectibles, I, I built a model of Baradur for one of our collectibles. That was a nine month build. That would have been the longest one job I've ever worked on. Normally they're over within a few weeks. I think it's hard for students to picture what, they, what they're capable of or what's even available to them. So I always try and take the opportunity to speak at universities and just give them a face. You know, here's somebody that did this or did that. And the best message for the students is to literally turn off their computers, go outside and look at the real world. They're trying to create reality. If they don't understand reality, they're not going to go very far.